Father, we thank you for this day and thank you for this um, time where we can come together and, and just leave behind every distraction and, 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 and stress and, and the things of every day. Lord, we just want to put them aside and, and invite your presence in this room. And we pray, Lord, that as we worship you and sing to you, that your Holy Spirit would move in our hearts and reignite this uh, love for you and this passion for you. We pray that you bring us closer. Thank you that because you are always ready to take us, Lord. Even if we are walking in sin, you are always ready to take us back and help us to just try it again and do it all, all over and, and do our best. And we just invite you to be here and to be glorified in our worship. We pray that the center of attention would be you and everything that we do would be done unto you. We ask that you cleanse our hearts and minds and help us to uh, focus in, in this moment and this time and this lyrics and, and singing them to you from our hearts. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Been close and far away, but my confidence is this your love won't stop its chase.
invite you to stand with us. Let's stand and sing this first song as an invitation to all of us to come before the Lord in praise and worship. Come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He to share just a few verses before we continue. I love the Lord, Psalms 116. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy because he bends down to listen. I will pray as long as I have breath. And we can say I will, I will sing and I will praise as long as I have breath because he is faithful. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the house of the Lord, in the heart of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. And you may be seated, or if you would like to remain standing, that is your choice. Let's enjoy this time, and I invite you to just sing with all your heart, no matter who's around you. The Lord is here. Let's praise Him. Come, let us worship our King. You conquer the grave, you free every captive and break. 
Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things. You've been faithful, you've been faithful through every storm, you've been faithful for presence in this room. Then I heard the sound, what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters or the crash of loud thunder shouting hallelujah for our Lord God Almighty. He reigns. Let everyone everywhere join in the crescendo of ecstatic praise to Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. Louder than the unbelief, I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. gonna sing in the middle of the storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praise that's roaring up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive
sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. You got it. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. In the presence of my enemies. In the presence of my enemies. A little louder, louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder. My weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder. Heaven comes to fight for me. Hey! Sing a little louder. In the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder.
will you meet us here? We have come to this place to worship you. Lost are saved, find their way at the sound of your great name. All condemned, feel no shame at the sound of your great name. Every sound of your great name the enemy he has to leave at the sound of your great The Son of God and man, you are high and lifted up, and all the world will praise your great name. Oh Lord, we praise you, Jesus. All the weak find their strength. Oh 
us you delivered us lord thank you that you broke the chains in our lives and we just ask that you continue to minister to our hearts lord through the power of your spirit this evening you know our hearts you know our needs you know our minds and we ask lord that you minister to us tonight as we praise you we know father that you have promised every every promise every uh, richness all the richness in he of heaven thank you father for being in this place with us and we just as you continue to be exalted in our praise, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to continue in our, in our time of worship. Oh, so, okay. I'll just break away. <laughs> Can I unplug this? I'm just honored to use Dale's mic. <laughs> I could do the announcements. <laughs> well, I'm asked to pray for this meeting tonight, so the Lord gave me a few things to share. So um, everybody knows Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Uh, his people will humble themselves and pray and seek His face; that He'll heal our land. But a lot of people don't realize uh, seven thirteen. And it says, when I shut up heaven and there's no rain, like here, or command the locusts to devour the land, that's in Iran, or send pestilence among the people, that uh, if, then, then it says, says the Lord, and then, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven 
and heal their land. So that's our job. So to me, the, um, today is the Feast of Trumpets, and that's the Lord's final harvest of souls. That's a sign of the final harvest of souls. So there's going to be a great harvest coming very soon. I believe that with all my heart. And so it's a time for us to check our hearts, see if there's any wicked ways in us, and ask the Lord to lead us in the way everlasting. So that's the way I feel. So, so Father, I just ask right now that you create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, Father. And uh, help us to repent for our nation as Daniel did for Israel when they were in captivity, Lord, so that we can bring righteousness back to the land. And, and we just praise you and give you all the glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, for those of you who are new, my name is Toby, and I've been here for eight years. I'm the Minister of Music here, and uh, I've been singing with Lana for, what, three and a half years? About three years. Three, yeah. three years. And uh, that tall girl was my daughter. She's a lot taller than I am. I'm the short one in the family. My son is 6'6", six, six, and she's 6'3", six, six, and so uh, I'm the shrimp. But I'm still taller than the grand boy, so that's good. Still. All right, let's go. I wish I knew when this mountain in my way is gonna move. Hope it's okay to tell the truth. Sometimes the doubt starts to win. I'd be lying if I told you I was anything but weak. Right now my struggle's all I see. But I'm not giving in. My story will not. Nothing can stop the unstoppable God He's not afraid of impossible odds This is the promise that I'm standing on Nothing can stop the unstoppable God I will not listen to the lie that says it can't be done. I know my war is already won. But I'm claiming victory, cause I know it's fighting for me. Nothing can stop that unstoppable God. He's not afraid of impossible lies. This is the promise that I'm standing. Standing on the 
dark, oh, oh God, where does my help come from, oh, where does my help come from?
There's a long black train coming down the line, feeding off the souls that are lost and crying. Rails of sin, only evil remains. Watch out, brother, for that long black train. Look to the heavens, you can look to the sky You can find redemption staring back into your eyes There is protection and there's peace the same Burn your ticket for that long black dream Cause there's
train haven't we all spent some time on that train getting sidetracked so many 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 things that can sidetrack us even when we think we're doing good sometimes we can get sidetracked and Lord it's uh, it's a battle every day we get up it's a battle where am I going to go today what am I going to watch today what am I going to read today how am I going to behave today I'm in a bad mood what do I do about that all these things constantly in us and Lord, we've seen many people who have let go of their courage, of their faith, of their goodness, righteousness, and they become out of control. It's scary. Never seen anything quite like it. Maybe 1968 was bad. The uh, assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. was bad. I remember that very faintly, but that was bad. Lots of rioting. Bigger riots than we have now. But Lord, it's scary. We live in crazy times. This all started, of course, in 1963 when the Supreme Court decided it was unconstitutional to have prayer in the public schools. It was a very simple prayer. God bless our families. God bless our schools. God bless our nation. Amen. That was it. No mention of Jesus Christ. No mention of anything. Just a very simple prayer. And they ruled that that was unconstitutional. Kids might be harmed by that. Kids might be offended by that. And so they ruled it unconstitutional. What happened after 1963? Almost a couple of months after that, John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Uh, Vietnam War began to start and then became very, very huge and what we lost, 70,000, 90,000, like up in that, from boys from that. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in 68, the cultural revolution, the sexual revolution. Uh, drugs became rampant in America, I mean, like never before. They said at one time in Laguna Beach High School, 60% of the kids came to class high at that time. Chuck Smith was coming into his own at that time, a founding pastor of Calvary Chapel. He was beginning his ministry, and his wife was reluctant to send their kids to the high school because most of the kids were high all the time. Our Robert F. Kennedy was shot after that. And then uh, 1970, no-fault divorce. Within five years after that, six years after that, the divorce rate went from about 12% to 50%. 50% of the homes were breaking up. And Lord, now we're beginning to see the fruit of that. When kids get bust back and forth and don't have a stability, don't have a mom and dad in the home, don't have that uh, security and stability, we're seeing that. Then the sexual revolution, of course. Abortion, 1973. And the Holocaust begins. 660,000 men died in the Civil War. 6,000 Jews were killed in the concentration camps in Germany. 60 million babies. 60 million. Lord, something happened today. I can change that. 
We had the most liberal Supreme Court justice in the history of mankind and the history of the United States. She died today. And we still have a Republican administration. We have a Republican Senate. And I believe with all my heart that they're going to get this done before the inauguration. They're going to get a new Judeo-Christian, biblically-based justice in the Supreme Court before the inauguration. I believe this with all my heart. And if they do, God bless them for it. That will change everything. We have an honest-to-goodness chance of overturning the most horrible law in American history. We really do. So let's all just keep praying. I said Sunday, God gave me a clear message before the Sunday service last Sunday. I said this election will be determined by the prayers of God's people or the lack of prayer by God's people. God is wanting to hear from his people because our nation is in the balance right now. So Lord, forgive us. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our neglect. Forgive us for succumbing to the culture that says... uh, Homosexuality is good. Transgenderism is good. Abortion is a woman's health issue. Oh, my goodness. What an abomination. Lord, help us to pray. We can't really do that much as far as we can, you know, share our faith. We can get on Twitter, but that's, Twitter's just a jungle. But we can pray. And prayer changes things. It sure does. Prayer changes things everything. We can pray and we can affect this election by our diligent prayer. I believe it with all my heart and I believe this election will be successful for religious freedom, for life, life of the unborn child. It will be successful for law and order if God's people will humble themselves and pray. If my people are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will heal their land. Lord, give us a call to prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will take a break now for about 10 minutes. Olivia is coming back, or maybe she's here, and we're going to get her set up, and we will finish the concert after about a 10-minute break. There's some coffee out there and some goodies, and uh, we'll see you back in about 10 minutes. We better, we better tune. We better tune. Oh. Let's stand together. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, unless you guys don't want to. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, 
go and have a seat if you'd like.
right, let's stand together for the last one. you, lift our voices to you, surrender to you, show us that without you we are nothing, and that we can do nothing without you, Father. Um, you are the vine, we are the branches, apart from you we can do nothing. Over and over your scriptures tells us that we're helpless, we're hopeless without you, Father, but at the same time, because Jesus came and died, Lord, we have the same rights as your son, as the heir. Father, what power we have inside of us because you loved us so much that you sent your son to die for us. Father, may we be so wise and so um, humbled and meek and poor in spirit that we understand that we cannot receive that power unless we surrender daily, Lord, to your, to your purpose for us which is to glorify you in all that we do, to shine the light that you give us, Lord. We don't have a light inside of us, but because of you, we have that light. May we accept that light, reject the lies that the devil wants to give us, and accept your light, Father. Father, thank you for this church and these people, Lord. Fill us with 
your your blessing, Father, your divine favor, God, that we might pray and change the course of our country and, um, Lord, may we fight the evil that's going on by your presence and by calling upon your name, Lord. There's no other way to fight, Father. I just pray that we'll be wise um, and choose to love but pray mightily on our knees. In your holy name, Jesus, amen. 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 God bless you.